Most gardeners don't realise it, but the secret to thriving soil isn't hiding in a bag of expensive fertiliser. It's already sitting in your backyard and kitchen bin. Every time you toss away lawn clippings or vegetable peels, you're throwing out pure microbial potential. Today, on Timeless Crops Haven, I'll show you how to transform those everyday scraps into a living, breathing fertilizer that wakes your soil up from the inside out. In just 10 to 14 days, you'll have a potent microbridge inoculant that boosts root growth, improves nutrient uptake, and helps you use less fertilizer than ever before. Let's dive straight in. This homemade fertilizer isn't just about nutrients, it's about life. What we're making is a fermented microbial extract, a simple mixture that turns fresh green matter into a colony of beneficial bacteria and fungi. These microbes multiply fast during fermentation, and when added to soil, they unlock nutrients that were previously trapped and unavailable to your plants. Think of it as compost tea with extra horsepower. Unlike compost, which takes months to mature, this liquid fertilizer becomes ready in under two weeks. The fermentation process feeds on sugars, breaking down plant material into bioavailable compounds and millions of beneficial organisms your soil will love. You won't need any fancy equipment for this, just a few kitchen basics and some garden leftovers. Gather about one kilogram of fresh lawn clippings, half a kilogram of chopped vegetable scraps, avoid meat or dairy, and around 200 grams of used coffee grounds, if you have them. These materials provide nitrogen, carbohydrates, and minerals that microbes thrive on. Next, grab a clean 5-litre food-grade bucket or jar, around 4 litres of non-chlorinated water, and 120 millilitres of molasses or brown sugar. That's roughly 8 tablespoons. The sugar isn't just for sweetness, it feeds the beneficial microbes during fermentation and keeps the wrong bacteria from taking over. Start by chopping your green material and vegetable scraps into small pieces. Smaller bits mean more surface area for microbes to feed on, so your brew gets stronger, faster. Add everything into your bucket, pour in the four litres of water and stir well to mix. Then add your molasses or brown sugar and stir again until dissolved. Once it's evenly mixed, cover the container loosely with a clean cloth or lid that lets air escape. Never seal it completely airtight. Fermentation produces carbon dioxide, and you don't want pressure building up. Now, set the bucket somewhere shaded and cool. Over the next 10 to 14 days, microbes will multiply rapidly, feeding on the sugars and plant material. You'll know it's working when you start noticing a sweet, vinegary scent. It should smell alive, not rotten. If it ever smells foul or like sewage, it's gone bad. Stir your mixture once a day to help aerate it and keep the process active. After about two weeks, strain the liquid through cheesecloth or a fine strainer into another clean container. The leftover solids can go straight into your compost pile. They'll still be full of nutrients. What you now have is your microbe rich fertilizer concentrate. It's too strong to use directly on plants, so let's talk about the correct way to dilute it. For foliar feeding, where you spray the fertilizer directly onto the leaves, dilute it at a ratio of one part fertilizer to 500 parts water. That means if you want four liters of spray, Mix about 8 millilitres of your concentrate, just under 2 teaspoons, into 3,992 millilitres of water. This light mist feeds the leaves with trace nutrients and living microbes that strengthen their natural defences. 
Apply it in the early morning or late evening to avoid leaf burn. For soil feeding or root drenching, where you pour it around the base of your plants, use a slightly stronger mix, one part fertilizer to 200 parts water. For a 10 liter watering can, that's 50 milliliters of concentrate, roughly three tablespoons. Stir well and pour it evenly over the soil in your garden bed. This single batch of concentrate can easily treat a 100 square foot bed, making it one of the most cost effective fertilizers you'll ever use. Repeat the application every 10 to 14 days throughout your growing season, especially during the vegetative growth phase when plants are putting on new roots and leaves. Over time, you will notice healthier foliage, thicker roots, and improved resilience to stress. Within 10 to 14 days of your first application, you should start to see subtle but exciting changes. Leaves become a richer shade of green, plants perk up, and soil begins to hold moisture more effectively. As the microbes establish themselves, they help break down organic matter and free up locked nutrients, which means your plants need less synthetic fertilizer to stay healthy. The soil structure gradually improves too, becoming looser, darker, and full of life. Think of it as giving your garden's ecosystem a probiotic boost. It's alive, self-sustaining, and continually improving your soil health over time. If your ferment smells rotten or sulfurous, something went wrong, usually too much moisture or not enough sugar. Just start again with fresh materials and stick to the correct ratios. Always use non-chlorinated water, since chlorine can kill the beneficial microbes you're trying to grow. And when it comes to applying, always dilute before use. More concentrate doesn't mean better results. Overly strong solutions can stress your plants. Store the finished fertilizer in a cool, dark place and use it within a few weeks for maximum microbial activity. You've just turned ordinary waste into living fertilizer that rivals commercial products in power and performance. You've captured nature's own recycling system in a bucket using lawn clippings, kitchen scraps, and a little patience. This simple brew is proof that healthy soil doesn't come from a store. It comes from what you already have at home. And once you see the results, you'll never look at your grass clippings or vegetable peels the same way again. So if you found this guide valuable and you're ready to keep growing smarter, don't forget to subscribe to Timeless Crops Haven. Share this video with a fellow gardener who's tired of buying overpriced fertilizers. Together, let's keep turning everyday waste into timeless, living soil.